How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Hope you're all making some good progress on the battle pass. But if you're here watching this video, then that means you're interested in leveling up your Octavius Mordex as fast as possible. I totally get that and I understand that this mission can be kind of hard, especially if you're new to the game and you don't understand what active inputs are or which legends can even do active inputs because most of them can't. So I'm here to help you. First thing you're going to want to do is go into a free-for-all lobby. Now, some people may say friendly 2v2, but think about it like this. In a free-for-all, you basically have a few minutes to get as many KOs as possible. Like, it doesn't matter how many KOs you get, theoretically there's no limit. But on friendly 2v2 or 1v1, you can only get a possible of 3 or 6 KOs. So that's a limit that I don't like. So. Free for all is what I recommend, and then I would also recommend Volkov for this challenge. Now you could use any Scythe Legend or really any Legend that has active inputs, but I think Volkov will make this easy for people of all skill ranges. It doesn't really matter the weapons or the skins or any of that, but um, I do recommend Strength Stance just because it'll hit your opponents a little bit harder and give you that extra chance to get the KO. All right, so here we are in a 1v1, or sorry, <laughs> free-for-all match. Now these are pre-recorded uh, games that I already played, and these are games that I picked out where I did pretty well. So I'm gonna just fast forward these boring parts so we can get to the parts where I'm just getting the active input KOs. So you see there I got one nice slide off side sig, and you definitely wanna make sure you hold forward on the side sig so that you get the KOs. Now sometimes you'll get two or three, sometimes you might get six, seven, eight, nine, who knows. So don't get discouraged. Now I'm showing you this axe portion where I'm using the axe and then I throw it away for good reason. Because the axe, there's only one move where you can get an active input KO and that's if you're holding side sig and you hold it and spike them down. But it's kind of hard to do so I would just avoid the axe for the most part and just stick to the uh, sight. And there we go. I think that's the last one I get on this map, but I don't remember. No, I, yeah, okay, that was the last one I get on that map. So on this map, oh my goodness, this is such, this was such a good game. So it starts out like as normal, like, you know, but then I quickly realized that I wasn't just in a normal free-for-all lobby because these guys were really cool. You can see right here, they're all just taunting and having a good time. So that, that was kind of a, a a hint of what was to come. So right off the bat, you, you saw there that the Fate just kind of let me get that side stick KO. And I didn't even realize that she let me get the KO at first. I wasn't really paying that close attention. But right about now is where I noticed she she wasn't even moving. Like she was clearly just letting me get the side stick KO. And then I that's when I realized that, you know what? We don't have to fight each other. We can actually help each other and we can all get the challenge done a lot faster if we if we stop fighting each other and just start helping each other and that's exactly what happened it took a little while especially for the other mordex uh there but eventually even he realized what we were doing and everybody literally just started teaming in and kind of letting each other get these ko's and i believe well i won't spoil how many i get but I get a lot of active input KOs on this one game. And if you're lucky, you know, you can find people like that that will help you. You can see here, I'm trying to get them to KO me. Like, I'm literally like, hey, come, come over here. Come, come get it. free kill. Okay, he did it the wrong way, so. <laughs> he might be trying to do the reversal KOs. Like, you know, there's different challenges that people might be working towards, but see, the fate was even like, thank you. Look at this, look at this. Look at this! We just gave him the triple. Okay, well the fate ground pound there didn't didn't let him get the triple, but still he got two right there just for free. Oh my goodness! If you're lucky, you know you can find some people that'll do this. If you're trying to do this, I mean, eh, is it cheating? I would say no because we're still in a game. You know, we're still attacking each other. There's no rule against it, and 
you do have to find people that are willing to do it with you. You know, you might go to the edge of the map and just taunt and like let them KO you, but if it's looking like they're not going to give you any, you know, then you're just going to have to take it. But if you want help, you have to be able to give them help as well. You can see, I don't just take the help, I give it. And then this is the final uh, match that I wanted to show you guys. This one won't be very long, uh, but similar thing happened. Uh, actually, two of the people rage quit in the middle of the map, the Mordex and the Volkov. Uh, at this point, they didn't rage quit, but about halfway through, they rage quit, and then it's pretty much just me and the fate, so we literally just help each other at the end. It took a while. We weren't helping each other at first. You can see here, we're just fighting like normal, but... Man, the music gets so weird on this map when you when you put it to 300%. Alright, so I got a double right there, I think. Yep. See, I'm doing the taunt to try to signal, like, hey, let's work together. The Volkov didn't want to work together, though. <laughs> Alright, I got another side sick KO right there. At this point, I think they've both disconnected. It doesn't show in the replays, but... I don't know what this fate was really trying to do. Like, I, I thought she would do the uh, the active input KOs, which if you're doing a fate down sig, you need to hold forward and not shoot, her, not shoot them up, because that's not an active input. But then I thought maybe she's doing that mission where you like have to reverse the sig, and I don't, I didn't know if this counts as like a reverse sig. I mean, you're throwing them straight up. It's not, I don't know. So I just let her do it. Yeah, whatever she wants to do, that's fine. I'm gonna just get some more active input. There's another one right there, baby. I think I get one or two more here before the end. But yeah. This is it guys, literally Volkov, side, side sig, I was able to get most of my active input KOs this way. I was doing a lot of 1v1s uh, because I was working on other challenges like, oh man, that one challenge where you have to get a KO in a 1v1 before taking 50 damage. That took me a while, I, I finally completed that this morning. That was the last mission I had to complete. Also that mission where you have to get two dash ground pound KOs in one match. That was a little bit hard, but again, if you go into free-for-all, it's not too bad. Alright, well I hope you found this video helpful or useful. If you did, please, please drop a like, it really helps me out. And I will be dropping codes in the comments after this video ends, which is very shortly. <laughs> I always drop codes for Brawlhalla items in the comments after every premiere, so definitely subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.